Welcome to a walkthrough of the Westminster Region Championship course. Right now as you're watching we are taking off from the start line through the gate exiting the baseball field. We're going to join the Kosh Trail here and head out along what we usually call the 180 bend or the bend behind the scoreboard. So right here pretty straightforward. Um, we're going to continue down this straightaway on the first of our three laps and go right at this bend. This is what we refer to as the bend. You come around this corner and as you exit the corner you turn right to go under the bridge. As soon as you're under the bridge you'll cross, right there is your 400 meter mark. Cross this boardwalk, take a hard right, and you'll take the right line up the hill right here. So you're going to continue to stay to the right, a little bit steep right there. We'll head uphill and continue to follow the only way you could go on this path for a moment. and. When you reach the intersection at the very top of this hill, we're going to go left, and that's going to take us down the center line. So instead of going straight, we'll turn left, head down the center line of the hill. We'll make it down. This is the largest hill on the course. We're going to keep to the right here, maybe two-way traffic on lap one, but we'll go left back across that boardwalk, under the bridge once more. This time, instead of taking the bend, we're going to go straight on the return route. And we'll stay to the right of this tree. That's kind of the dividing line between the two-way traffic. We'll keep to the right here as well. Um, typically, by this point, we're not seeing two-way traffic anymore. We'll continue along this longer back straightaway along Nancy Creek. At this point, there aren't many turns to make, so you're just sort of following the trail as it winds back behind the baseball diamond along Nancy Creek. A couple of left turns here, another slightly shorter, more or less straightaway after that left turn. And when we get up here, we're going to wrap around to the left around the practice baseball diamond. Here, the line is not actually painted totally correctly in this video, but we're going to stay on the grass. That's the line as we make our left here, and we stay on the grass around that infield. And then we head in through the gate here onto the warning track. This line will be repainted as well. They've just done some uh, changes to the, the line of the grass, but we're going to follow the warning track around. There will be a white line painted that denotes the edge of the course. We're going to run the warning track into this little chicane here where you go right and then quite a hard left. And then right as we get between these two shadows right there is the mile mark. So we're now a little over one mile into the race. We're going to continue on our second lap up this way. Uh, that painted tree on the left side of the screen is basically the 800 meter mark on the first lap. I'm not sure that I mentioned that as we went by, but we're going to go around this bend for the second time. Again, taking our right turn under the bridge, over the boardwalk. Again, we'll go to the right, taking this right line up the hill as it sort of winds through the steeper part of the uphill. following this trail up the hill. It makes a gentle left as you crest the hill. And then as we get to the intersection, we're gonna go ahead and take that same left turn, which brings us down the center line of the hill. Again, we're gonna to stay to the right here in case of two-way traffic. We'll take the boardwalk, We'll go through the bridge, going straight here, and keeping to the right. This tree serves as sort of the fork, so we'll stay to the right of that. That was our 800 meter mark we just passed again from the first lap. So we're going to continue going along this straightaway for a second pass, all the way down along Nancy Creek, again behind that big baseball diamond. Again, going left here to round the practice baseball field, and right here following that white line, staying on the grass here, not on the infield, rounding the corner, and then entering the warning track through this hole in the fence. We'll take the outside of the white line on the warning track, 
and since this is our second of three laps, when we complete this warning track, we're once again going to take that little chicane and make a hard left. So we'll go to the right here, then a hard left, and go out for one more lap. So just like the previous two laps, we'll enter the Kosh Trail here. We'll make our way behind the visiting team's bleachers. We'll keep to the right up here and go around the bend. As we go to exit that bend, we'll stay to the right to go under the bridge, across the boardwalk, right, taking the right line up the hill as always, snaking around, making our way up the hill for the third and final time. At the top of the hill, going left as always, taking that center line down the hill. Making our way down the hill for the third and final time. Staying to the right, crossing the boardwalk. Under the bridge, again going straight, then veering to the right to stay to the right of that tree. This will be our final length along the back straight. So we'll make our way along Nancy Creek on this long straight that takes us behind the baseball diamond. At this point, we're approximately two and a half miles into the race. Make our left turn into this final shorter straightaway that sort of winds side to side. Left turn to go around the small practice baseball field. Again, staying on the grass here. Up here we'll enter the warning track for the final time. Staying outside the white line. We'll make our way around the warning track, only with this being our third lap, rather than making that hard left out of the chicane to go for another lap like we did in the previous two, we'll make this right turn and then we actually stay to the right and rejoin this gray gravel trail. You'll follow this all the way down toward the large black backstop and take a left. From there you'll join the track and then make a hard left at that triangular corner. Here you can join lane one and you'll be running the reverse direction of the track for the final approximately 300 meters of the race. The three mile mark is right around this corner. We'll make the turn in the reverse direction on the track and you'll head down the finishing straight. Fans cheering to your left and the finish line and shoot will be right about here.